Fall is not only a great time to take advantage of the natural scenery, but also a golden time for crops to reach perfect ripeness. In particular, this is the season when American farmers embark on strategies and modes of processing agricultural products with maximum productivity. Pomegranates, a popular product, thrive in warm climates, with ideal temperatures ranging from 25 to 35 degrees Celsius. During hot, dry periods, the pomegranate will bring a rich position, one of the outstanding specialties of the fall. However, handheld is also very necessary to take care of meticulously, especially adequate watering to achieve high productivity. The United States, home to a large range of firearms farms, is one of the world's leading producers. With over 500,000 tons of artillery strategically collected each year, the product is not only for the domestic market but also exported to many countries such as sea, grenades usually start in late August and last until November, this is the period when farmers need to monitor each change in results to determine the exact time of the target. At this time, the weapons are collected entirely by hand, each product is gently placed in a cloth bag and transported to the factory for processing. This process is extremely careful, because just one strong punch can cause the grenade to crack, losing its value. After collection, the hand grenades will be immediately cooled for preservation, and at the same time carefully checked to eliminate results that do not meet the requirements. The grenades will then be packaged and stored in cold conditions to maintain quality, allowing them to stay fresh for two to three months, enough time to distribute to distant markets. In addition to being consumed, handheld juice is also a processed and exported product. Preserved juice is produced from peeled and pitted fruit, then pasteurized and bottled ready for consumers. Not only the fall, autumn is also the harvest time for other fruits such as peaches. Peaches, which grow strongly in warm climates, are one of the popular fruits in many countries. China's peach production accounts for about 60% of the total global production, with more than 15 million tons harvested each year. The United States is also prominent in peach cultivation and harvesting, with about 650,000 tons of peaches produced in 2023. The peach harvest season begins in May and lasts until September, depending on the season and growing area. This is the time when the freshest peaches are picked. However, this job is not easy at all. Farmers have to pick peaches by hand, carefully selecting each fruit to avoid damage. This work requires dexterity in fighting, because even a small scratch can reduce the value of the result. Peaches are usually harvested before birds and small animals have a chance to get close, after harvesting, peaches are transported to the factory for processing and processing into delicious products, when autumn comes, peach fields are ready to enter the strategic autumn season. Workers with meticulousness and professionalism begin the process of sorting, peeling, and processing peaches into delicious products. On the conveyor belt, peach weight loss products are processed every hour, from removing leaves and debris to sorting by size and quality. Unsatisfactory peaches are immediately removed, ensuring that only the freshest flowers are retained. Once cleaned, the peaches are fed into an automatic peeler, which then cuts them into thin slices or strips, depending on the requirements of each product. The peaches are then soaked in a sugar or water solution to enhance their flavor and help preserve them for a long time. These delicious peach slices are then packed into mailboxes and further sterilized at high temperatures, eliminating bacteria to extend their shelf life and keep them intact. The United States is one of the world's largest peach markets, with more than 1.2 million tons of peaches consumed each year. In addition to fresh peaches, the canned peach market is also very developed, providing products for millions of families. But not only peaches, chestnuts are also one of the important specialties purchased in the fall. The nuts ripen in late September to early November, when they turn brown and split the tree automatically, signaling the time to collect. The process of collecting the money requires the struggle and income of the rural people, as they use round cages with long handles to collect the nuts that fall to the ground. Although the manual plan may be slower, it helps ensure absolute quality, with large pearls, machines are used to increase the efficiency of the harvest. 
Automatic sweepers gather the chestnuts into rows, remove debris, and protect the outer shell of the fruit. After planting, the chestnuts are cleaned, sorted by size and quality, and washed to remove impurities. Meanwhile, snow dogs are also an indispensable product on the farms. After five to seven years, the dogs yield a symbolic yield of up to 350 pounds of nuts per year. The educational tourism process has now been institutionalized with powerful tree-shaking carts, which help bring the results to the ground quickly. The fallen chestnuts are collected, impurities and shells are removed, and then fed into a transformer for sorting and, the dog care regimen is not simple. The shelled supervised dogs are carefully sorted by size and color after shelling, removing any remaining shells. They are then strictly inspected for quality before being packaged and sent to the field. The process also includes protective drying steps, which reduce moisture content and extend shelf life without affecting the flavor and nutritional value of the walnuts. All of these steps are aimed at providing consumers with quality, nutritious, and delicious products, a testament to the care and effort that farmers put in. Bananas, a familiar fruit and staple in many diets around the world, have a complex journey before they reach the consumer's plate. Each bunch can weigh between 65 and 110 pounds, and to harvest these bananas, farmers must use protective padding when carrying them. However, for large plantations, they have created a 70-foot long hanging system that can operate up to 75 checkpoints at once, an architecture that increases harvest productivity. To ensure the best growth of the banana plants, each tree seed, Harvesting bananas is a job that requires the dexterity and stamina of skilled workers. With work starting at 5 a.m. workers cut off the remaining banana leaves, which they decompose into nutritious humus. Yields can reach around 88,000 pounds per hectare, but in the Philippines, efficient banana farms can reach 176,000 pounds per hectare thanks to disease-resistant banana varieties. When the bananas arrive at the processing plant, they are cleaned technically, using water pressure to remove dirt, and technicians cut the bananas into poles, which are then passed through a pond of clean water. The harvesting process at some houses is very special, with the bananas harvested while still green and liquid is applied to the tops to help them avoid cleanup during the transition. After export, they undergo an artificial ripening process for seven days, until they reach the perfect ripeness and are ready to be sold in supermarkets. But it's not just fresh bananas, banana chips are also a popular dish. Transformed from green bananas at a slow pace, banana chips have a distinct potential, with around 20 tons of bananas processed every day at the chain product. The potato slices are fried to a crisp at 180 degrees Celsius, then seasoned with meat and packaged for delivery to consumers. Along the banana fringe, another product that has also created curiosity is the sugarcane. Each voice takes 20 years to mature and can live for more than 100 years. At dawn, while the rest of the world is still asleep, the villagers have begun their journey up the gently sloping lanes to collect the nectar. This is a difficult job, when they have to use long poles or even ropes to reach the top of the trees, with only a knife and a container to collect the nectar. Each day, they can collect more than 300 liters of nectar, which is then filtered in a clean tank, boiled for six to seven hours until it thickens into a syrupy consistency. Each kilogram of sugarcane requires seven liters of tree nectar in the dry season and 10 liters in the rainy season. A process that requires high visibility and technique to create a product, and it is impossible not to urge, the tropical fruit is famous for its characteristic sour taste. Although the cultivation of persimmons requires meticulous labor and is time-consuming, they have become a staple food in many households around the world. A target group usually consists of 20 to 30 people, yielding 2 tons per day. With a long life cycle of 15 to 19 months, mature persimmons can weigh 0.5 to 1.2 kilograms. After harvesting, carefully move them to a processing facility or cold storage to maintain their deliciousness. Global persimmon production is expected to reach a record 29.36 million tons in 2022. And young persimmons will always hold an important place in reality.